Welcome to Wake Up Humans. This is uh, Steve Judson, and I've got an amazing, powerful, kick-ass woman coming to you today. Uh, you've heard her husband a couple times, Dr. Eddie Martinez. But in our world, you know, we want to be congruent in our lives as best we can and honor our spouses. And we know that we wouldn't be where we are without our spouses. And this especially speaks volumes for this woman. She is the executive director of the Florida Chiropractic Society. She has lifted that organization up to a powerful stature. But more importantly, she's raising four clear, drug-free, amazing, amazing children. And her husband is literally my best friend. I know my wife's on her BFF list. So let's hear it for Ms. Araceli Martinez. What's up, Mama? Hi, Steve. How are you? I'm it's awesome. awesome to be here. I've been, been dying to do this with you, so I'm really excited about uh sharing with your with your listeners and um and anyone that wants to to be part of this i'm very excited about it you know it's funny because uh and that's awesome you know and when i started this thing out it was just let's just do it and see what happens and it's you know like I, like i've been saying to you and other people you know we just don't want to target chiropractors we want to go after the people when we say wake up humans it's going after flipping everybody to learn the principles you know you and i have been going to de for like 20 something years it's ridiculous and just the things we're learning but for your voice to reach out to moms and to families and when i said to you know basically what's our outcome and you said uh to get moms and families to trust in nate was the first thing you wrote you, you typed to me and so to explain to a mom like someone who's listening to this the first time doesn't have chiropractic in their life and understanding what is innate well as a mother um innate it's that inner voice that you have in you and you know like they say moms have a sixth sense sense and um moms always know like i tell my kids all the time you can't lie to me you can't go behind my back and do shit because i'm gonna find out because guess what we know it all like we know everything innately i know exactly when my kid is in danger exactly when you know alex wants i i have life 360 on my kids <laughs> even on eddie <laughs> and uh innately one day i'm like He's not home. He should have been home according to Life 360 a while ago. And immediately it was midnight. And I told Eddie, he got into a car accident. It's like, oh, you're crazy. Who would have already have called? You're like, no, he wouldn't have because he's probably freaking out and he doesn't know what to do. Yeah. And I went on Life 360. He had been stopped in the same traffic light for 45 minutes. So immediately I knew he had a car accident. So I called him up. He answered and he goes, yes, mom. I just rear-ended someone. I'm like, okay, cool. No problem. Are you okay? Yes. All right. You know what? This, I'll go over and we'll handle it. So innately, that's that mothering instinct. And um, that's where we as moms know what's best for our kids when our kids need us the most. And what we choose for our kids in as far as their health, their well-being, their education, we know best. And that's where our innate kicks in and provides for them. Yeah. So, you know, one of the things as you're talking, I'm thinking about to show the strength and power that you have is you've done, you didn't do home births, but you went to a birthing center, right? Yeah. And I remember uh, there was a big, org what was the company that did the, the, the show on you? Um, it was called House of Babies. House of Babies. So that was on TV, correct? They like yeah, follow Discovery you Channel. Mm -hmm. Discovery Channel. That's right. And you sent me the video, and I was gonna play it in the office, and I was playing it. <laughs> I was playing it while we're like adjusting, and all of a sudden I'm hearing you like yelling, and I'm like, "Holy crap, man!" But you know, you talk about the power of innate, and 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 seeing, you know, seeing Tammy, my wife, go through five deliveries, and what the pop, the body is capable of. But then people lose that faith and trust in that wisdom. Why? Because they're afraid. Why? Because they're afraid of giving something new a chance or they're afraid of, of proving to themselves that they were wrong at some point, trusting something that was not good for them. So, and I think that that's what's happening right now with everything that's going on in the world with the COVID. And like, do I wear a mask? Do I wear a mask? So if you tell a mom, like, you don't have to wear a mask or you don't have to go outside and 
and quarantine your entire family and don't ever go out again, innately, deep inside, they might know, yeah, I'm not going to die if I go outside without a mask. I'm not going to die if I don't quarantine in my house. But they're afraid of trying that and proving to themselves, oh my God, I was wrong all this time. How could I have not seen it? Because I think, especially moms, carry a lot of guilt because they think they want to, they want to do everything so perfect and when they find something that they're doing for a long long time and hasn't been working and then they try something that's so simple as chiropractic for example like why not give it a chance so it's it's that that inner fight with themselves of, of them thinking oh i was wrong and i failed as a parent yeah, that, that's huge. And you think about, you know, try something new and you bring up chiropractic, which has been around over 125 years. Mm-hmm. You know, the very first chiropractic patient was a deaf man that got his hearing back in 1895. It's not new. And I, and I tell these moms, I go, look, it's, it's okay to say I tried this. I'm not necessarily wrong, but it's also showing me that maybe there's a better way. And yeah. when, when you start introducing chiropractic to a mom, when, 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 you know, educated properly, it makes perfect sense in its purest simplicity, because the same intelligence that helped develop a human being inside her body for in nine months, and then helped her push that baby out, that intelligence never left the mom. But it's almost like our own educated intelligence wipes that, that wisdom out of our mind that we start trusting someone in a white coat. Yeah. So let's get into the whole chiropractic thing. So as a mom, what made sense to you about chiropractic, having children checked, having their atlas checked on a regular basis? Because you could have very easy, because I meet, you know, women that are married to chiropractors that they, they don't buy into it. You know what I'm saying? They just want their husband to be a doctor, make money, travel, buy jewelry. They're not into the principle in the lifestyle that you are that it really envelops your whole philosophy of life with your family. What, what made sense to you and how can you, how can you educate a mom, a new mom on that? Well, I think uh, my, my introduction to chiropractic was a little different when, um, cause when I met Eddie, I was already a chiropractic patient. So it came a little easier for me. Um, I got introduced to chiropractic when I was 18 years old and um, I, I, I had very bad menstrual cycles. I mean, extremely bad that I would be in bed the first two days. That was my norm. Every single month, I would be in bed for the first two days, painkillers. My mom would give me all sorts of over-the-counter stuff. And that was it. That was all I knew. So my mom took me to the doctor and the the OB said, well, you know, the only way you're going to be normal and and go get out of this pain that you're in every single month is you have to get on the pill. Well, you got to understand my mom is Latin. (laughs) That does not go very well with Latin moms for an 18 year old daughter to be on the pill. That was like giving me a free ride. And she was not about to do that. So she's like, well, no, sorry, you're not getting on the pill. You're going to have to live with that pain until you get married. And then you can deal with it on your own. I was like, okay. And that's, that was fine with me. Cause you know what? My mom was not going to put me on the pill and I was not about to go myself and do it. So uh, my best friend was a, a, a chiropractic CA at a chiropractor's office and she told me listen just come you have nothing to lose but trust me it'll change your life my first thought was like what the hell does chiropractic have to do with my period how the hell is this guy gonna fix my period issue so i went because again i i was desperate and i just my mom was that was the only thing she let me do so i started going to the chiropractor and all of a sudden i got my period the next month i'm like wait a minute I didn't even know I was getting it. And that happened month after month. Cause at first I'm like, okay, maybe it's just, it's just coincidence. Maybe I was supposed, I was meant to this to go away on its own, but now, you know, I'll just keep trying in another month. And basically my period never ever again came back with any pain or any cramps. I don't even know when I'm getting it. So that was life changing for me. So I continued to see a chiropractor. And then when I met Eddie, I was a patient at his cousin's office when he came to do his internship. So um, the philosophy was introduced to me more more by Eddie um, when we started dating. And he was very, when we started talking about getting married, he goes, well, this is how we have to raise our kids when we have kids, if we get married. This is, you know, our kids are not 
they, they have to be raised under chiropractic care. Our kids have to, um, we're, we're not gonna vaccinate, let's, let's learn about vaccines. So we did all that. And, and so before we got married, we already knew how we we're gonna raise our kids. So that, that came very easy for me. And, um, and then my midwife just found me. I didn't find my midwife. I had an OBGYN when I, I, I got pregnant with my first, but my mid, 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 midwife found me. She came looking for a chiropractor, an upper cervical chiropractor, which Eddie was, you know, Eddie does that. And uh, she was, I'm a midwife. So to me, that was like, okay, you found me. That means that I have to, I have to give my, I have to give my trust to you and deliver my babies. And it was amazing. She delivered all four of my kids and, and it came just, that was the norm to do for me. And the same thing with with raising my kids. My kids have been getting adjusted since the moment they came out. The first thing Eddie would always do was check them, make sure they were well, make sure they needed to either get adjusted or not get adjusted. And ever since they were born, my kids get checked every single week. And that's all they know. Like that's to them, they feel down, they go get adjusted an extra day that week. Or, you know, we had issues with scoliosis with Sophia when she was 12 years old randomly Eddie just took x-rays of her and she had a little bit of scoliosis starting then Eddie's like well you know what we're gonna change the adjustment and we're gonna instead of coming once a week you're gonna start coming three times a week and she did that and two years later we checked her again and her spine had had a straight you know she it had gone the way it was supposed to go so that's how we innately we trust what we do and we know that what we do is working on our families. Yeah. And when I talk to moms about chiropractic and they don't understand, I tell them my story of how I started with chiropractic. And I also, I don't push it because I think if you push it too much, they, and if they're very susceptible, they will not get it. But I know they're watching. And I'm constantly posting things on Facebook of, okay, this is my kids getting adjusted. My kids are 20 years old and they still get adjusted on a weekly basis. You know, my, my, my oldest went to, to college and the first thing we, we looked for was a chiropractor, a D chiropractor in Gainesville for him. And the same thing I did when Sophia went to college. When I, before you decide on the college, we gotta make sure you have a chiropractor that's gonna check you on a weekly basis.